Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where I'm looking at adding a very simplified autumn effect to an image. Now there are plenty of videos out there about adding sort of the autumn effect properly um, but this is a very simplified version of it and a very simplified version of description of the autumn effect is sort of making the image look a bit more sunnier or and a bit blurrier um, this sort of effect that I'm going to do is not the it's not as blurred as the, like, the autumn effect would be but it uses an, a filter which I've never seen used before and this all came about from a video by Matt Donovan called Editing a Landscape in Affinity Photo. Now I think this is an, an official video by Serif and basically this is this sort of the step that I'm going to show you is at the end of his video luckily he's edited the the whole image and sort of put this on the end to give this sort of autumn type effect so I just want to sort of concentrate on the end of his video um, so you can use this either at the end of your editing or add it to a picture you've already edited um, so this video is worth checking out and I will include the link to this in the description for this video so this is the image I'm going to use, I got it from Pixabay and this is how it comes from Pixabay and this is like the effect you know after I've added the autumn type effect it's sort of subtle it just makes the whole image a bit more sunnier and slightly blurred um, so let me just delete that layer so what we need to do is sort of assume that you've edited the your image up to the point that you're sort of fairly happy with or like in this case you're starting with a, an image that is already sort of finished and you just want to add the effect to so if you were in the process of editing an image you would come to the point where you need to make a merged visible layer of everything that you've edited so far so you could just right click on whatever the top layer is and come down to merge visible or like in my case where I'm using a picture that is already already edited you can just duplicate that layer which is what I'm going to do here so either like I said either merge visible everything that you've edited so far or if you've already got the image done then just duplicate it so then we're going to come to the filters menu and come to blur Gaussian blur now if you look at Matt Donovan's video you will see that he says that you sort of you need to know the sensor size of the camera that took the image and in the case of his video I think it was a 36 um, pic megapixel sensor on his camera so he blurred his image 36 and I think mean, this particular image when I looked at the details of it it was a 24 point something sensor so I'm going to set this to roughly 25 or 24 point it's, it's close enough to be you know a few points here or there it doesn't really matter so I will click apply on that then I will add a filter which I've never seen used in any other video and this is why I wanted to look at this you come to the filters menu and come to apply image and this opens up this panel here 
and you got the two buttons at the top load source from file and use current layer and source and then sort of all the other parts of this panel are greyed out and are not used until you make a selection so I'm going to use current layer as source and then you've got these options which are now available I'm not going to worry about using equations just going to change the blend mode of this from normal to multiply and then click apply and this has made the image much darker and obviously you know, very blurred and then I'm going to come to back to this layer and then change the blend mode of this from the opposite of multiply which is screen and that is basically it you just use the apply image filter multiply and then change the actual layers blend mode to screen now I quite like this as it is set at 100% opacity but in Matt Donovan's video he says it's best to go at about 30% if I remember correctly but you could start at naught and then just slowly raise that until you get that sort of glow that you you like and sort of the slight blurred effect that you like so I'm going to put this at roughly about 50% so like I said that's a personal taste thing now just to show you it doesn't really just work on landscapes I'm going to use this image here which, again which I got from pixabay.com and you know, it's a very good picture but it is sort of very for want of a better phrase harsh um, she looks quite stern and you know it's a very crisp and in focus image so I just want to sort of knock that back a bit so like before I'm going to duplicate that layer go up to filters blur Gaussian blur now this time I've, I've, I haven't checked out what the sensor size is of this image so it's just guesswork here I'm just going to lower it down a little bit just so it's not so out of focus so about 18% roughly click apply and again back to filters apply image use current layer as source set the blend mode to multiply apply that and then change the blend mode of the layer itself to screen so and then if I bring the opacity down to zero that was like the image as it was and then adding this effect will add a bit of glow to the overall glow to the image but it is also softening her features so if I bring this back up to 100 and then turn this on and off that's the original and that is the effect that has added a bit of softness to the image and just sort of toned down the harshness of her face and in my view makes it look better um, but that's just a personal taste of mine so that's basically it um, I am doing a written tutorial for this as well and I will add a link to that in the description for this video so basically that is it thank you for watching and goodbye